since DC does not have zero crossings, switching a DC load with high current can create lot of arcing which may harm the power source as well as the switch itself unless you are using the specifically designed DC circuit breakers which I found pretty expensive. So can we build something by ourselves as an electronic alternative to these expensive mechanical DC switches? Let's find out. I am using this tactile switch to toggle the electronic switch between on and off but this is a momentary contact switch that means if you release the button the contract breaks. So I need something to hold the state of the switch at on or off. The first thing came in my mind is this simple flip flop circuit made with two small transistors. But to operate such kind of flip flop you need two buttons one for on another for off. But I want to use only one button for both turning on the switch or off the switch. Let's say at certain moment the switch is at on condition that is Q is high. At this point if you fade this high voltage from Q to the reset pin the switch will turn off. Similarly when switch is off Q bar is high and if you connect Q bar to the set pin of the switch the switch will turn on. So I connected two transistors T3 and T4 like this. At this point T3 T4 does not have any effect on the switch because they are off. To make it sure that T3 T4 don't turn on accidentally I connected their bases to ground through a resistor instead of leaving them floating. Now if I turn on the T3 T4 transistors if the switch is on that is Q is high it will turn off the switch and if the switch is off that is Q bar is high it will turn on the switch. So we can change the position of the switch just applying voltage at one point. But unfortunately it is not working as expected. This is because if I keep T3 T4 turned on even after changing the position of the switch the switch will change its state again and it will keep toggling until we turn off the transistors T3 and T4. So I need to turn on T3 T4 momentarily instead of keeping them turned on for a long time. To do this I made such arrangements with large valued registers and small capacitors. Now it's working just fine. One more thing is left. I need to make it sure that when I am connecting the switch with the source, the switch should be at turned off position. To do that, I am connecting this 470 picofarad capacitor in the base of transistor Q1. Finally, I am connecting this P90NF03L MOSFET from ST Microelectronics which can handle up to 90 ampere of current and 30 volts between drain source. At this stage, we are done with the circuit and ready to test. I have soldered everything on a vero board and attached an LED indicator and a protection diode to save the MOSFET from high voltage surges from inductive loads. and everything is working as expected. Since the MOSFET has drain source on resistors less than 6.5 milliohm at 10 ampere load it dissipates less than 650 milliwatts only. So with a proper ventilation it can tolerate that much of power dissipation without any heat sink. To build this switch it cost me only around 50 rupees. So we could successfully build an electronic switch as an alternative to the expensive DC switches unless you require too much of safety and long term reliability. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I meet you in the next video.